Bertram does an excellent job for Rutgers defense. Now Harper in the backfield, play fake. Walker out of the pocket, looking deep. Goes short instead and is picked off. Deion Stevenson. This is a young secondary and the freshman out of Sayreville, New Jersey, makes the play. Well, you're right, this is the depleted secondary. Robbie Thompson comes across the field, P.J. Walker rolls out. He's got to see that defender stepping in front of the wide receiver there and get that ball outside or out of bounds and throw it away. If you don't have it, you got to be. It's getting the ball and delivering it to his wide receivers to make catches. This is Goodwin again running to the right. Another huge hole. Inside the 40, still on his feet, brought down at the 27 or gain of 21 yards for the freshman from Madison, New Jersey. Well, that's going to lead me into my impact players. First and 10 from the Temple 17. This is Williams out of Sicklerville, New Jersey, hit behind the line by Dewani Mera for a loss of five yards. Here comes pressure. Walker doesn't see it coming, and he goes down. Ruhan Peel, a week ago a wide receiver. Now he comes off the edge on third down and gets the sack. Well, we talked about it, our keys of the game, and you see a number 80 number coming off the edge. Ruhan Peel comes off, you see him, they don't pick him up, enough, too much, enough guys to pick up the blitz, and they get the P.J. Walker. Burton and Goodwin in the backfield. Tight formation. Play clock down to two. Nova steps up over the middle, complete. And there he is. Croft with the grab and a first down. I really like Tyler Croft. I mean, he's a young player, former receiver, but he's come in and shown he can block, run routes. He's got 19 catches, make that 20 for over 300 yards in the season. And he's a productive red zone player with three touchdown catches this season. You know Smith would like to have that attempt back. He started his collegiate career at Rutgers before transferring. The Trenton native cannot make the interception. So Nova has another opportunity that is high and caught. Brandon Coleman re-emerging as a threat. Rutgers fans wondering, where has number 17 been? Zero catches last week, all right? The big six, six receiver. He's the biggest guy on the field. If he's open or if he's close to being open, he can go up and catch the ball at its highest point like he did on that corner route right there. Second and 12 for Nova. Scarlet Knights empty the backfield. Rolling to his right. Looking deep. Karun goes up and makes a nice grab. The two high school teammates hook up for a 22-yard gain. Again, another guy that's had been a great weapon for this Rutgers offense. You see here, roll out to the right, and Karun just runs a corner route, just beats you with his speed, gets that foot down. They had two uh, illegal substitutions. You got to know how many guys are in the huddle, and then, of course, at the end of the half, you had a chance to spike it, and they weren't prepared to do it. This is Deering. Across the 20, out to the 30. And he gets pushed out of bounds by Cooper. So good field position once again for the Scarlet Knights. 39-yard return for Deering. Here it comes. Nova steps up over the middle, has an open man, and it's Pratt. Inside the 20, Smith is at a horse collar. Yes, sir, flags all over the place. Already got a little face mask, too, on that one. A 41-yard pickup, tech on 15. This is a great job. You, they bring the blitz, they pick it up. Nova has time to throw it, and of course there, tack the big penalty on top of the big catch. They go to the I formation now. Carew in motion. Play fake. Open man. Touchdown, Burton. Well, you're getting into a running formation, and you've ran the ball on the linebackers, haven't been blocked at the second level, so they've been teased to come up. And you see him come up, Medikavich jumps, and there goes the fullback slipping into the flat for the easy throw and catch. Now it's third and one. Rutgers showing pressure. Walker design run, and he does not get there. Kevin Snyder hits him behind the line of scrimmage. No gain. Remember, Nova had to burn a timeout to avoid a delay game earlier in the first half. 
Nova with all day finds his man right at the line for a first down. Kwan Pratt with the nice grab, an 18-yard pickup. Ball is a little behind him, does a great job, and Pratt made a big play earlier. And you see him here, he's just running a little comeback out route, catches the ball away from his body. Talk about this team looking differently than the one we saw in September. Well, another big reason, Robbie Anderson missing the first three games of the year. Walker, oh, excuse me, Harper does not get the block. Marcus Thompson with the tackle for a loss of four. He is the man that sets the tone. See how it goes. Four yards in that first play gets him in a good situation the next down. Empty backfield again. Five wide receivers going out. Over the middle, intercepted. Jamal Morrell. His second interception of the season. Well, there you go. It's a perfect example. You stay aggressive, but with that comes consequences. Great job right there. Morrell eyeballs the quarterback, sees P.J. throw the ball, reads his eyes, steps his feet. Morrell's first interception of the year was a costly one against Norfolk State, made a diving grab and injured his kidney. Now he has set up Gary Novin, excellent field position, looking to cash in, wide open Peru, touchdown Rutgers. 34 yards, Scarlet Knights take the lead. Well, I was going to mention it, but we just started the quarter, but when the fourth quarter comes around, Deontay Carew is the man that Gary Nova looks for. And he didn't waste too much time. In less than a minute, he gets the ball back on the first play and launches one down to get the, the game-leading touchdown. Great throw, great catch. Defensive back, 11 career interceptions here at Rutgers, an all Big East performer in the early 90s. A little too overzealous on that one. So now Nova with time, looking deep oh, over the middle. Carew has to go back to make the grab. Zamel Johnson in coverage. 15-yard pickup. And we've been talking about it. He's been the man in the fourth quarter that Nova's been looking to. Six catches for 114 yards. There you see the numbers for the sophomore out of Edison, New Jersey. Nova forced out of the pocket. He's going to have to run it. Looking to get outside. He gets the first down. And inside the Temple 30. A 14-yard pickup. But to me, this is an element of the game that Nova, I think, it needs to work in a little more. You see him checking down those running backs when he moves out of the pocket and gets away from the blitz. Again, he sees the seam here. Usually, he'll check it down. He's got good speed. Now Burton in the backfield with Goodwin. This is Carew in motion. Here's Goodwin running left. Ball's loose! Temple ball! Does Longo back in the game? Longo is indeed back, back, back out there. Now you wonder if Temple, four down territory. Harper working hard. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like he's going to be inches short. So they'll probably stop the clock to measure, maybe. This, this will be the ball game. Stick your head down, give it to Harper, and get this first down. I do not like the pistol. They give it to Harper, and he is hit behind the line. A huge play by Mr. Longo. Banged up minutes ago. He keeps Rutgers alive for the victory. The true freshman is, or the redshirt freshman, Linebacker's done it all year. That's why he leads all freshmen with tackles in the country. He's unblocked. They run a cross stunt. The two linebackers come through. He's free. Huge play that's going to set up for an outstanding finish here in Piscataway. Don't forget about our fourth quarter man, Carew. He's the guy that Nova's looked for for big plays all year long in the fourth quarter, especially when it means something with less than two minutes left. Huggins in the backfield. Nova dumps it off to Huggins in the middle of the field. They stop the clock at the first down. Remember, they are out of timeouts. Surprising to see Huggins in the game. He really hasn't taken a snap all game in this crucial situation. Remember the last time Goodwin touched it, he put it on the rug. Nova over the middle into coverage. Fits it in the tight window to Croft. Another first down to stop the clock. So just like that, they're at midfield. Again, you got plenty of time. You can be fast, but yet take your time. 
Here comes pressure. In the open field, Huggins does not get the first down and does not get out of bounds. So a huge play there, although time really not an issue yet. It's okay, because that was first down anyway. They get nine yards, so. To the outside, there's a catch made by Pratt. Great and down. he gets out of bounds, showing that veteran leadership and eight-yard pickup. When they, if they were able to get this, but this is a huge play for Temple right now in defense, an opportunity to win this football game right here in the fourth quarter. They couldn't come up with fourth and inches. Can they come up with a stop? Pressure again up the middle. No, but gets rid of it. He has Carew. Catch one. Wow. Touchdown. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 33 yards. Temple brought the kitchen sink. Nova and Carew burned him for the touchdown. Is there any question about the quarterback situation today? 45, 40 seconds left. And the man in the fourth quarter that stepped up, game in and game out, it's his ninth touchdown catch on the season. Eight of them been in the fourth quarter. It came down to another fourth down, but here, look, you're looking over. They're bringing the pressure. Just get enough on that linebacker to get him out to the side, and Nova puts a strike. And I'll tell you, that this is a difficult throw. Pressure catch. He's covered. Just gets the separation he needs. I'm impressed by Carew. He's done it week in and week out, ain't he? Anderson's the deep threat, bottom of your screen. Takes the short route to Alderman, who gets the first down. Let's get a spike. Get and did he turn it over? Oh, wow. No, I think down. Rutgers fan says it. Rutgers is saying it's a turnover, and it is. Wow. This will be reviewed. Absolutely. The wing on the field is that the defender took the ball, first down Rutgers. The previous play is under further review. So they're saying, yeah. he, yep, absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's Ruhan Peel. A week oh, ago, good. he was a wide receiver. Now he's a hard-hitting, fumble-causing cornerback. I'll tell you, that's impressive. A wide receiver coming up, form tackle, brings his arms up through the, the offensive player, and makes a great tackle for a kid that's been catching balls since he got the Rutgers. Third leading receiver on the team heading into this week. 